guys, welcome back to 1776 or bus. So today is kind of a strange video for me because it's not really, uh, I guess, purposeful. Although one could probably argue that I don't really ever have any purposes behind any of my videos. But instead today, I'm gonna give you kind of an overview of this firearm right here. This is my M11A1. This is the army green version of this gun. You know, there is nothing super special about the M11A1. You can still find them online. They are pretty expensive, a little over $1,000 in most cases that I've seen. This gun is a little bit unique unique in the fact that obviously of the anodization on the firearm, uh, it's the green color, which is very, very difficult to find in the wild. Um, I bought this about a year ago. I actually got it for a steal about 875. And the reason for that was when I looked it up, I actually put in the word green and this is what came up. And I don't know if it was listed incorrectly or whatever, but no one else bid on the gun. So I got 875. So I just want to show you basically just how cool this firearm is. I'm going to do an overhead of it right now just so that you can take a look at it. And again, leave some comments down below. Tell me what your thoughts are, because I do really love these classic SIGs. The metal SIGs are my favorite um, of any hammer-fired gun right now. It's pretty crazy for me to say that, but it's definitely true. Not so much of the 320 fan, but definitely of the aluminum-bodied hammer-fired SIGs. Um, I, I'm just falling in love with them. Um, so tell me what you think. Let's watch the video, and I uh, hope you have a great day. All right, guys, so here we go. To the table we go. And it has been a while, so you know, pardon me if I screw this video up about 700 times. And if the sound doesn't sound that great, again, it's been a while since I've done a video, so I'm gonna get back into the swing of things. At least I keep saying that, and we'll see how that plays out. Nonetheless, one of the guns that I was thinking of doing this video on was obviously the M11A1. And you know, some people may say, what's, what's the big deal? Why is this gun so special? And it, honestly, it really isn't. I mean, you can still find M11A1s pretty much anywhere. Um, I will say that it is definitely gonna cost you an arm and a leg because these tend to be about a thousand dollars. And um, you know, that's not a bad, I guess a bad price for a very well-tested, well-worn gun, especially one that's made out of aluminum and the steel. Obviously it's a little bit different because of the uniqueness behind it. Obviously you can see this is the army green version of the M11A1. I did took, take the E2 grips that were on this. Actually, this didn't have that. That's, I'm thinking of my uh, P229 Elite, but this actually had the old school grips that said P228 on it, which is kind of interesting. And for those of you who don't know, this is kind of the evolution of the 228, which ultimately became the M11 and also the P229 with the difference of the slide and how they made the slide. But overall, the gun is really, really nice. And um, it was kind of an interesting video I wanted to do because I didn't really know how to present it for the simple fact that I'm not gonna show you me shooting this gun into thin air super fast with action-packed music in the background. Instead, I just wanted to do an overview of the gun so you could take a look at it and see just how unique this gun really is. Now, again, it is basically an M11A1. So it has, you know, you can use 229 magazines, which is pretty sweet. This one obviously says here, hopefully you can see that. I don't know if that'll come through or not. And that's the beauty of me not be up. Oh, there we go. Uh, the 229, so the 229 mags fit, no issues with that. You can see that it ejects super, super nice. Um, this gun in particular, I got such a good deal on it. It was hard to pass it up. I mean, the M11s go for about a thousand bucks, if not a little bit higher than that. This one I actually picked up used um, on a specific website and I actually got it for 875 and that was not including shipping and tax, but nonetheless a super killer deal and I bought it about a year ago. And the reason why I think I got so lucky with this is because when I was looking for it, I was specifically looking for unique type of, you know, SIGs. So like, for example, I have the 229 Elite, which is the titanium blue. And then obviously I've got this M11. I also am trying to work on getting a, a 220 uh, combat right now, which is gonna be, an, again, another unique gun, but at the same time, something that I really want in the collection. This gun actually came to me with everything that you see here, so except for the grips. So it came with some Trigicon night sights, which are pretty nice. They seem a little bit, like they sit a little bit high. Um, I didn't notice anything when I was shooting the gun, but they do seem like they are definitely a little heightened. And it has that U-notch, which is pretty nice. The rears are blacked out. So it has a very nice sight, a very nice sight picture on it. You can also see that this also has a custom trigger on it. This obviously is from, I can't remember the name of the company right now. So if you guys want, comment down below and I'll probably go, oh, that's right. But uh, this is the way the gun came. The trigger pull on this is a pretty stout double action. So as you guys can see, it's, it's very smooth, but it's heavy. And then the reset is super short. It's got the SRT trigger in there, but more importantly, it does have this custom trigger, which you can actually adjust depending on how far you want that trigger pull to go back. 
So it is pretty sweet. I mean, the gun overall is very nice. Um, again, if you don't mind not having the rail, the pick rail in the front, then this might be an option for you. The M11 is a great firearm. This thing shot wonderfully. I don't have any plans on ever carrying this gun, and I have no plans on really ever shooting it that much just because of the uniqueness. Now, this gun didn't come to me um, without any blemishes. So the one blemish that it actually came with was right here, and that is actually from the previous user using a ring finger. And that ring was, uh, I guess, taking off some of the anodization, which I didn't even know you could do that, but apparently you can. So obviously, you know, that's really the only blemish I found in the whole firearm. The gun was used, but I mean, very, very rare, barely used, I guess you could say. I do like the fact that you have the SIG logo um, etched into the slide at the top. Again, you have your serrations in the back, but not in the front. So any of you who like to do press checks, it might not be for you, but at the same time, it's pretty cool. You've got the decocker, all the controls are very standard SIG and they're very, very usable. So there really isn't anything different than really any other P-series SIG Sour with the fact that this is an anodized green, super hard to find. And it's just something I wanted to show you guys because this is one of my, I guess one of my proudest um, collection, part of my collection. I mean, I just love this firearm. I love the fact that I was able to get one. More importantly, the fact that you don't see these too often and I actually have one. So I look forward to your comments. I want to hear what you guys have to say. Tell me what you think about the M11A1. The next video I'm going to do is I'm going to do an overview of my P229 Elite in the titanium blue. So you guys can take a look at this. Again, this wasn't really an educational video. This is more of me just kind of saying, hey guys, look at this pretty awesome gun that I have. So leave some comments down below so I can read them. Hopefully you guys have some good insight input in this firearm, but this is a great, great firearm and I would recommend it. And especially if you can find it in this one. The other color they have is the FDE. Um, that one I found, but it's like almost $2,000 and I'm certainly not paying that for a gun. But I hope you guys have a great night. Stay safe and as always, everyone, freedom is never free.